Hi, uh, my name is Martin. I'm from uh, the company called Commerce Tools, and our product is VIO. And today we want to talk a bit about, um, yeah, how APIs are really going to shape a new world in, in retail, and how this is going to work uh, from from our perspective. Um, so there, there's a slight change because actually it wasn't my turn today. Actually. Actually, it was his turn. Um, Dirk um, is our CEO since 2006. So Commerce Tools is a rather uh, yeah, uh, long present company. Um, as you can see, sorry, he did a lot of e-commerce projects for big customers like Puma, uh, Puma, Neckerman, and stuff like this. Founded e-commerce. But um, the cool thing, when you're a CEO, you're allowed to fly Lufthansa. Oh, you don't see it. Oh. OK, there's a Lufthansa sign. but. Um, as Lufthansa is on strike, um, I mean, you French guys usually know this, but this time it's the Germans who are on strike. Um, he's not available today here, um, but I will jump in. Um, just briefly for me, working for, for Mr. Specs, which perhaps some of you know is an online optician who's also in the French market, and since 2003 working for uh, Sphere, for, for commercials tools, because I fly EasyJet. And that's why I'm here. <laughs> I'm not the CEO. Um, so let's crunch some numbers. I think uh, most of them, you already know that. So what, what are the main reasons why we're talking about APIs? It's about the shift in, uh, in, in, uh, in, in the digital world in general. So using, using devices like this, using devices like a laptop or a, um, desktop PC are not anymore the, the, the main devices um, to, to spend their time. Um, this year we will have more mobile users than desktop users and you can also see it in the time. So this is now uh, US time spent accessing the internet. Yeah, it's crunches. <laughs> um, and we will definitely over, overtake um, the desktop this year. So no way, no way around this. So we don't talk anymore about really web commerce. We don't talk about e-commerce in the classical sense. We talk about many other things. Tablets and mobile phones are the one thing, but we are missing also a lot of other um, devices like smartwatches coming up next year from, from Apple. This year already LG, Sony, Samsung. Everyone is pushing their own device into that space. We are also talking about Google Glass um, as one object. I mean, there will be probably a Google Glass 2, which is much cooler than, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but this is also a device where you can shop with. I'll show you later. Um, we are talking about the intelligent fridge. So this is really the internet of things, which then uh, is about refilling on their own. It's like the coffee machine or the, the vendor machine, with, which has the, the, the uh, bottles of, of Coca-Cola and says, OK, I'm out of bottles. Please give me new ones. And this will be automated in future reference. There's no, nothing like a guy has to come there and check whether there are bottles anymore. And we're also talking about this cool exoskelet in advanced warfare, Call of Duty. So this will be also able to shop at some time. Um, yeah, the customer behavior is changing, so the people are demanding more new solutions, more convenient solutions to, to, get, to, their, uh, to get to their stuff. Because they don't want to waste hours and hours and hours into in shopping malls, because they don't have time for that. Um, there are already a bunch of, um, of APIs out, uh, out there around the retail space. So one example is shipping APIs. So when you ever try to connect to a shipment provider like DHL, UPS, FedEx, or whatever, you really love, you really hate them. <laughs> Because they are, so DHL, for example, um, using a SOAP interface in Germany, which is around 15 years old, and they haven't really changed a lot since then, and this is how they work. And they, they just update uh, the API without any notice, and your, com your complete application breaks, and this is really horror. So there are a bunch of companies um, around the globe which are actually um, taking care of this. You only have one API and you select within the API which shipment provider you want to choose and then you will cr create a label for this. Easy as, as it is. You don't have to ha have the hassle with 
any uh, DHL, UPS uh, interface whatsoever. You can easily change between them. You can negotiate with each of them and have your own contracts behind this. This giving you a huge advance and huge performance uh, step ahead here. Other thing is uh, taxation APIs. So um, it's either about um, getting the right tax rate for the country you're, you want to ship it or just making uh, f um, file your tax report. This is also a huge time investment and um, they're making it much, much easier and much, much faster uh, for all uh, in retail space. Other thing is, of course, the e-commerce <laughs> e API platforms. So um, we are here, um, but there are also like uh, uh, Motsu, Molten and Shopify Plus. So these are all e-commerce applications, e-commerce APIs who are working on this and uh, crunch the same market. So you see there's also a lot of movement in there. Um, wrong one. And we have also a huge one, it's the payment APIs. So payment is always a pain in the ass because it's about security. No one wants to leak uh, the payment data of, of your customers. So having there a smart, secure, and a performant solution is, is very the key for your checkout. Um, we have very good um, experience with Paymill, and, but there, there are many more out there. Um, Square Stripe, Recurly, uh, Braintree is also there. Um, so go and find out because they're, they're really making your life much, much easier. And, but that's not, not even the half. So there are many, many more APIs out there. Uh, which enable you to, to uh, sell faster, sell more, sell better, and uh, enhance the customer experience. Um, currently, Programmable Web, almost 2,000 e-commerce APIs, so with tech e-commerce are out there, so you can, can, can do a lot with it. Um, so this was actually a vision from 2000. <laughs> well, it's 1999, sorry. You can see it. Um, so th this was the first uh, um, occurrence of this intelligent fridge um, was cool at that time. They said, "Okay, we'll be launched in two year 2000." Never came to that actually, but um, the idea was cool. They haven't had the technique at that time. Now we have something similar, but not quite the same. Um, by the way, do we have? Yeah, some sound here because Amazon did a huge leap in introducing um, the intelligent fridge, but uh, thinking a bit more. No? No sound? Okay. Um, what, what you can see here actually is that um, it's, not, it's not about the fridge anymore, it's about the device who actually connects your kitchen, your bathroom to your Amazon uh, um, basket. Because what they, uh, what they do is, there, you can talk to them, so there's uh, speech recognition in there, but you can also just scan the product, scan the, scan the EAN and um, uh, add this to your basket and at the end of the day, at the end of the week, you just hit the button and say, okay, buy it, and the next day Amazon Fresh delivers it right to your uh, front door. So this is actually the next phase in grocery store. We are now, so uh, Commerce Tools uh, got bought a few months ago from, from a big retailer uh, in, in Germany called, called Rewe and we are now heading this way because this is, this is a huge market, groceries is a huge market and um, it's not yet really digitalized. But there are many more um, things about shopping and how, how you actually can enhance the experience around shopping. This is an example from Ikea. What they were actually doing is um, um, taking 3D objects of their furniture and you were able to, with uh, augmented reality to put it in your, in your rooms, in your flats, so that you can actually see how they would look like when you would buy them, when you would buy them and put them right there. So this is really about uh, giving the customer the experience that th th they wouldn't have any other. You, you can, cannot uh, um, provide this here. You really have to use the capabilities of this device. Um, another big trend, I would call it, um, is this local shopping. So really enable your device in, in the local environment in the store and, and recognizing your customer. So. When your customer walks walks through your door, 
Um, it's uh, usually a Bluetooth low energy um, device, so this isn't, this isn't the beacons from SD mode. Um, they will send an, uh, an, an, an impulse and they will recognize you and then they will say, okay, hey, you've been here before. So, hey, Sarah, this is your uh, voucher for today. Get 10% get off of your favorite shoes you already had in your basket when you uh, were online yesterday. So this, this, is, this is really about customer-centric, about uh, what, what the customer wants and what, what they're really searching for. And because I know it, the data is there, I just have to connect it intelligent. And um, we, we always talk about the Google car, it's driving, it's driving alone, but what will be also be possible, it's really to, to, to buy out of the car. So the car is not only driving on its own, it also be uh, um, buying on its own. Uh, perhaps on your way home, you can already buy the, the pizza, which will be delivered right to your door when you arrive at home. So, not only I, because we all love APIs and um, the cool thing, and this is also why we built CIO, we wanted to enable um, developers to, to set up these scenarios within days, not weeks or months. And this is why we built our, our REST-based API. And today we want to show something completely new we haven't done before, so cross your fingers that it works. Um, I have here Google Glass, and what I will do now, I will show you something. That's a big one. So, ah. yeah. So this is um, not this one. This one. Ah, okay. Same here. That's the cool thing about responsive. Um, so what what we actually did is we we built a small demo shop. So this is our demo shop with uh, our Angry Birds. We can see them there. Um, I can now switch to our back end. Not this one, the other one. Um, so this is actually our merchant center where you see all the products. You can see all the categories, your orders. It's also available in English, so it's all fine for, for German. Um, so you see here we have our Angry Birds there. What I will do now, um, show you some, some mirroring action show you what we have built. So this demo was actually done within uh, six days. So in six days we built this whole demo um, for everything. Um, I go for this one, this one, okay. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, okay guys, start shopping. So, there it is. So this is a really rough demo, what, what we, so hey, selfie, yeah. Um, what we did on first hand, we had the small thingies and what, what we did um, using just, just QR codes, because uh, you can also use EAN codes or whatever. Scan another product. Is it another product? Is this one here? Okay, so this is the this is our Skywalker. Okay, glass. Buy product. So 
just completed. Let's see whether this is true. Um, so we will go there and take a look at our orders. <coughs> and here we have from 1.55 December 2nd, so it's just a minute ago, we have the Skywalker. So, as you can see here, this, this is the future. This is what it's all about. There, there's going to be, because we want to have this, this embedded devices, this really, that they are included into our daily work, into our uh, um, yeah, daily efforts. So I don't want to have uh, any more of these things. I just want to have them here and um, want to make it work. And so, giving back here. So yeah, you've seen it, yeah, it works. So for any case, we did a backup demo to show it. Um, the, the code is actually um, available on GitHub. So you can right away start it and working on it. Uh, we have a bunch of open source SDKs. Uh, so it's for Node, for Java, for whatever what you need. And um, if you want your own Star Wars Angry Birds, just Show us your project where you just display some product and then we will send your Angry Birds right to your front door. So, thank you very much. Yeah, we have time for two questions. So, who has Google Glass in the room? Not enough. Ah, say. Yeah, some Google Glass there. I may open with the first question. So can we imagine a, a world where there is no advertisement on, you know, on public advertisement, but it's just QR code on glasses? So I, only you only see the advertisement when you wear the glass, and you can buy directly like you did? Yeah, so I mean, we have, we have seen this already in films like Minority Report. Yeah. It actually worked like this. You, you got recognized. I mean, there was the actually environment around interacting with you. Um, this might be one option. I think that there, there are many devices. Also, my, my clothes can get really a variable and, um, and decide what, what I need, that I need, I don't know, new clothes or anything like that, or uh, yellow one or whatever. So it's, it's really about, uh, um, I think uh, buying, buying on, on devices like this is, is uh, old fashioned, at least in five or 10 years from now on. And um, we will see where it goes because uh, there are so many devices emerging. Um, just recently, the, the Mayo got cut shipped. So this will be also new, uh, yeah, new horizon for, for shopping, for retail mm -hmm. in general. Okay. So we have time for one qu other question. And I ask Cedric from Spotify to come here to prepare his, uh, his talk. So time for one more question. So who, who would buy on Google Glass? Okay, we are two. You have two customers. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Just yeah. showcase. Just yeah, showcase. of course, of course. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.